last thing. Uh, the, the premier venture capital firm in the world is Kleiner Perkins, Caulfield and Byers. And it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the most well-known partner of Kleiner Perkins, John Doerr. John? <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're all here today because we love Apple products. And uh, I'm here because I really love Apple entrepreneurs. I like to talk about entrepreneurs this way. Entrepreneurs do more than anyone thinks possible with less than anyone thinks possible. Entrepreneurs are the risk takers. They're the revolutionaries. They're the rebels. And so it's particularly touching for me to be here today with the supreme commander of the rebels, my <laughs> uh, friend Steve Jobs. Uh, by now, you all know the story. In 1976, Steve started Apple and the whole personal computer industry. Then along the way, uh, Steve uh, left Apple, went downhill fast. <laughs> What's remarkable is this entrepreneur returned and resurrected Apple to greatness. And in his spare time, at the same time, he bought, built, and ran Pixar, literally defining the computer animated film industry. It's really pretty amazing. So on this special day, uh, my friends, please join me in a salute for the world's greatest entrepreneur, Steve Jobs. <laughs> Entrepreneurship then really matters. Uh, the computer scientist and Apple fellow, Alan Kay, is famous for saying, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. And at KPCB, uh, we like to say the second best way is to fund it. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we are very proud to announce the iFund for the iPhone platform. New platforms are uh, very rare, but they can be transformational. If they're about great products with robust APIs, powerful distribution, outstanding entrepreneurs, and usually a little help from VCs. So we gave a lot of thought to what the size should be of this iPhone. And you know, it took a couple million dollars to start Electronic Arts, $8 million to start Amazon, $24 million to start Google. So we decided the iPhone should be $100 million. <laughs> that, that, that should be enough to start about a dozen Amazons or even four Googles. And if, we, uh, if we're running out of money, we'll look around to try and find some more. Now, you know the Mac and the iPod are two truly amazing platforms. There's over a million developers on the Mac and over 5,000 independent products for the iPod. Today, we're witnessing history. That's the launching of the SDK, the creation of the third great platform, the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Think about it. What the iPhone's all about is in your pocket, you have something that's broadband and connected all the time. It's personal. It knows who you are and where you are. That's a big deal, a really big deal. It's bigger than the personal computer. So it's about this great opportunity, but more than the money. It's really about the people. It's about the entrepreneurs. It's about the great team at Apple. And most of all, it's about the great talent that we can recruit together and to go build these amazing companies. This iFund is gonna be led by my partner, Matt Murphy, who's here today, together uh, with uh, Chiwa Chi Chen, Bill Joy, Randy Komasar, Ellen Pao, Ted Schlein, and me. We're all here today, and we're on the web at kpcb.com. I gotta tell you, there's never been a better time than now to create a new company for a revolutionary new platform. 
And so my message to the entrepreneurs of the world is, if you want to invent the future, the iFund wants to help you build it. I can't wait to see the great new companies that we build together. Thank you.